into our gaming news. We've got quite a few. New, New Zeo, Reddit, make a partnership. One Punch Man movie. NVIDIA ventilator kits. VR art shows. Chinese giant Tencent. Five P takes 5% stake in the afterpay. Let's get into it. On to our first gaming article. It is about New Zoo Reddit partner on gaming user engagement data. And this is interesting because you may know Reddit is one of the biggest uh, social, I guess, sharing, sharing networks. And the New Zoo is a Chinese con company. So let's read what they're doing. Data analysis from New Zoo is teaming up to, with social network Reddit to seek insight on public engagement with video games, the company announced on Thursday. New Zoo will access information from Reddit, which boosts 400, which boasts 430 million monthly active users, including communities devoted to League of Legends, Counter-Strike, Global Offense, Overwatch, League, Call of Duty, Rocket League, Dota 2, and other games. Reddit Senior Director of Business Development, Alex, said a statement. Gaming communities on Reddit are incredibly engaged and will believe in part partnering the new, new zoo with empowering those with the gaming market to access critical community insights. This is uh, Reddit's first dedication data partnership in the gaming scope and we will look forward to delivering a deeper view of the Reddit's common communities to the game developers, publishers, and brands with the New Zoo. New Zoo's co-founder, CEO Peter Watson, added that in the statement, tracking games IP popularity across transition social platforms is common practices in gaming businesses. Working together with Reddit, however, we're going beyond the developers' new insights that aren't available anywhere else. It's by far the most preferred platform of the largest and most vocal gaming communities, and our partnership is key to objective for the 360 degree. I am I'm particularly excited to see the Reddit insights add even more value to New Zoo's pro services, which is used by startup developers, HG's uh, consultants. Now, I did a little research, and New Zoo is a Chinese company. So you know they're sharing everything with uh, Winnie the Pooh communist. So what do you think if you are a Reddit user? Are you too thrilled now that all your data is shared by and seen by uh, the Chinese company? Or do you think this, this merger will help you? Will it be beneficial? Please like, comment, subscribe if you've been playing these games or even if you know much about the new zoo. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Moving on to a more positive note, a new anime movie is in the works. And the anime is none other than One Punch Man to be turned into a Hollywood live action movie. I myself grew up and I loved anime, like in the 80s and 90s. but And I liked it when it was more hand-drawn. Nowadays, it's computer-drawn. But I never really got into what to One Punch Man, he came later. I was more Robotech, Dragon Ball Z. But recently, they had this uh, anime show called Anime War, and One Punch Man was in that, and it was a pretty funny 13 series episode show. And they also have a recent Steam release game. I haven't played the game, but it has fairly good reviews. But let's get into the movie now. Let's just hope this doesn't go bad like the Dragon Ball movie did. Tokyo. In many ways, Magma anime franchise One Punch Man is a lot li like its protagonist Santana, a young but bald as a cue ball man with only a single name, which he shares with a preference in Japan, that the regular butt of all jokes for its uncoolness. 
the oft overlooked by the underestimated Sakma in his fact one of the strongest superheroes on the planet. In a similar fashion, One Punch Man started a web comic posted by the creator One on his own personal website beginning in 2009. After three years, it had attracted enough fans for a remake in the pages of the weekly Showman Jump. And that's kind of like where they put um, many anime uh, cartoons, like one chapter. So that, that way you go out and you buy the book. Japan's most popular magma analogy with one handling and writing and the other being drawn by the artist Yutushu Mataka whose biggest hit to date was the football magma Eye Shield 21. Not a mainstream smash hit, One Punch Man has been adapted into two seasons worth of TV animation and a fighting video game that is now set to move into another media, the Hollywood. Various reports that Sony Pictures has t tapped Scott Rogan and Jeff Pinscher the writing team from both J Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Jumanji The Next Level, as well as 2018 Venom, a pen of the script, the other films and TV series on the Paris Paris individual resumes include Con Air. Oh, I like that movie. That was, I saw that in my childhood. Awesome movie. That was, and, um, Air Force One came out around the same time. High Fidelity and Amazing Spider-Man 2. Fringe and Kangaroo Jack acting as producers will be Erv and Air Ed. All right, the former of whom is produced the Hollywood live action Ghost in the Shell. Well, Ghost in the Shell didn't get too good of reception. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse did, though, and Iron Man and Daredevil. Okay. So there's a lot of variance in terms of the tone of the critical success among the writers, producers, past works and it's interesting to see if they're in, they're trying to retain one punch style of understanding Japanese comedy or if they're going to localize it so that's kind of the controversy you know they tried to localize Dragon Ball the movie and it ended up being a disaster but what do you guys think do you guys think one punch man deserves a movie or is it just a cash grab Leave your comments below, or if, if you think this, this, if you have seen this series, why is it worth watching to somebody who's never seen it? Again, leave your comments below, like, comment, subscribe. Moving on to the next section, you know, I didn't really know where to put this because Nvidia, Nvidia is generally a graphics card, okay? At least that's what I know it as, and then most gamers would. But Nvidia, chief scientist has developed a low-cost open-source ventilator. Now, that should technically go in inventions, so that's why I, I didn't know if I should put this with the health inventions or with the gaming news. But let's get into it. The, the device can be made for just a few hundred dollars. This week, Chief Scientist Bill Daly released the open-source design for the low-cost, easy-to-assemble ventilator that can he believes could be used to treat patients with Convoy-19. Dali developed the ventilator in just a few weeks. He designed it around two readily available components, a proportional solenoid valve and a microcontrol, and he said it can be made for just a few hundred dollars. Our philosophy is to build the simplest possible ventilator that could be produced rapidly and inexpensively but yet make the needs of treating the patients with COVID-19. Daly said in a video explaining that the device is able to precisely meter the flow of pressure of air being delivered. The ventilator can be assembled in just minutes, attached to a simple design display, and packed into a porcelain carrying case. Daly built the prototype using the shelf components for about $400. Uh, he produced in quantity, it could be less than $300. And using open source 3D printing parts, the price might drop to below $100. Well, that'd be pretty good, he said. According to NVIDIA, the blog post, 
the traditional ventilator can cost 20,000. So yeah, four, 100 to 400 versus 20,000. What do you want? The ventilator has been tested successfully on lung simulators and DALI is now in the process of applying an emergency use authorization for, from the FDA. That is the same, same fast-tracked approval that NASA recently received for its ventilator design. If DALI's device is approved, the next step will be finding a way to manufacture it, which, is, which as all other companies have found in a significant challenge. I hope that we do not get so many people sick that we run out of ventilators, DALI told in the video, but I want to make sure if we do, we have something that something like this ready. Several other companies have been looking for ways to develop ventilators or extend the use of the current supply. We see the potential of designs for gaming PC makers. Margie and Tesla Dyson was initially preparing to manufacture 15,000 ventilators, but it recently scrapped the plan saying that the devices are not required. Daly also is a professor at Stanford University. Collaborated with the university and former students, another team of the students produced reusable face masks, which the repurposed scrub gear and designed to help the frontline workers. As the crisis continues, we are likely to see more tech companies and universities stepping up with new ideas. So what do you think about this little device? I mean, uh, yeah, that looks really cheap. So leave your comments on this. Would you buy one of these? Would you program one? Would you assemble it? Or maybe you're the investor who would back this. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Cool. This article is VR Art Show is Gallery of the Future. And so I kind of thought this was interesting. We, we have been getting a lot of VR um request whether it's gaming, VR tours, VR shows. So this is just another one. One of the world's biggest art world players claims to have invented the gallery of the future with a virtual reality show opening on Thursday featuring a galaxy of contemporary stars. Herther and Worth is letting people visit a show. It's huge new private gallery, the Spanish island of Manicor which now will now physically not open until next year, uh, but is available now on smartphones. Besides itself, features one of the French League Lucy Bourgeois giant spiders, as well as the real a work by Jenny Holtz of Paula and many others will be inspired. Their work will be shown. The Swiss-based art giant said that the it had invested heavily in VR molding technology, setting up Art Lab in Los Angeles and drawing 3D techniques used in architecture, construction, and video game design. While museums across the world are offering virtual tours during the coronavirus lockdown, Herther said their technology was different was a different order. Garnet Founder says, like some of the best inventions, this one comes from necessity. The primary goal was to celebrate technology that would help our artists visualize the spaces where their expeditions would be presented, he said, Enab en enabling them to plan better, reduce the amount of travel and transportation. Worth said they had speeded up the development of the viruses hit re 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 revitalizing many people will be stru struck at home. We feel now that this new approach to virtual reality expedition is essentially relevant with and will engage as many people as possible, he said. The expedition can be visited through the gallery's website. The Brinks and Mortar Gallery on Mandango Desert Art Labs. The hilltop is overlooking will be the next April. Okay, so I will try to actually give the link to this. Uh, what do you think? Do you think this is the way of the future for uh, virtual reality tours and art shows and such? Yes, no? 
would you actually watch one of these or would you interact with the VR? Leave your comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Our last article of the day is about Australia and Tencent. The Chinese giant Tencent takes 5 PC percent stake in Afterplay. Now, this involves more than just 10 cents. So let me read the article and I'll give my thoughts on this one. Why I thought it was interesting. Chinese internet giant Tencent late Friday emerged as a substantial shareholder in Afterpay with a 5% stake in ASX listed buy now pay later company. Tencent, which is listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and capitalized at more than 700 billion, said it was looking forward to the deep and long-term business partnership. Tencent is the world's biggest gaming company and also operates social media platforms more recently than has been expanding into fintech and cloud services. Yeah, because remember, they just got into read it. And last week was something else. You can look at my link above. But, uh, and they also own the Epic Game Store. So its communication platforms include Websyn, WeChat, and QQ, and Wix and Pay. Services in the leading mobile payout platform. China is facilitating more than a billion commercial transactions per day. Wow. Tencent's buying spree began quarterly buying shares from March 27th and basically until now. And now it's, it started at $17 when they bought the stock, and now the stock is trading at $29. Afterpay co founder Anthony Elson and Nick Mullen said that they feel very privileged to welcome Tencent as a substantial shareholder in the company. Afterpay pioneer. Pioneered the buy now pay later model. It has a 6.1 million active customers globally and 400,000 merchants around the world. It, sh it shares more have come more under pressure since the COVID-19. Being able to attract a strategic investor of the, this caliber is extremely rewarding, and it is a testament to our team and our strength and our differential business models okay to help to be able to help into tap into Tencent's vast experience and network is vastly as the potential to collaborate in an area such as technology geographic expansion and future payout for options for afterpay platform so this is why this stood out to me okay besides the fact that they're buying into everything do you, you may or may not realize just last week that Australia wanted to uh, to do research about the COVID-19 virus in um, in China. But China said, no, thank you. And matter of fact, China threatened to not buy any Australia products or sell any products to Australia, kind of like economic move. And Australia themselves said, well, we are going to become more independent. Well, that was, say, last Tuesday or Wednesday, and this is Friday, and they just accepted $25 billion from China, so they just sold all your the Australians' public information to China and all those transactions now. I don't know. What do you think? Is this okay for the company to sell your private, your, your private information away? Yes, no. Or should a country learn to be more patriotic and do things for themselves? Leave your comments below. Hi, the small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal World News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up. 